Hello YouTube, this is Trotter Yu-Gi-Oh! here with a deck profile for a deck that I took to local today and ended up getting first place with it. And that is a Hero Beat deck, it was just an old favorite of mine that I felt like playing. And there are a few things I want to try out and it ended up working out very well for me, so I just wanted to show off some things. Um, so let's get started. First up, three Alias, um, one Stratos, one Bubble Man. I really wanted to run two Bubble Man, and there were a couple times I wished that I had two. But I didn't have space for one, so if it, and I might, if I cut some stuff out, and one Photon Thrasher. Photon Thrasher is kind of the MVP of this deck, or has been recently. I, I've been really happy with it, along with um, Paladynamo. And two, Thunder King Ryo for stun. I realize a lot of decks aren't using this, but this still hurts a lot of decks. E it hurts E-Dragons, hurts Prophecy, hurts Mermel, just hurts a lot of decks, so I think it's still pretty good. Um, that's all the monsters, no hand traps this time. Uh, three, Miracle Fusion. Um, I still run three. I side out the third one a lot, but I still run three of these because it's just good boss monsters and sh shining beats over almost everything you'll go up against this format. Uh, two E calls and Rota. Two duality. Just those are all the consistency cards. Um, triple Gemini Spark gives the deck a lot of its power, just really flexible removal cards. So triple Gemini Spark and triple Forbidden Lance. I don't run any mystical space typhoons. Both because of space issues and because these several cards are both more versatile and serve all of the purpose that Mystical Space Typhoon does. If they have a back row, I can either change my Spark, get a plus off that, or I can just use the obsolete with Lance. And in addition to that, Lance also helps me it's now to Ophion, which is a huge evil form, is a huge threat to this deck. It's out to a lot of boss monsters, lowers attacks, helps my monsters survive. So Lance, I feel, is a lot more versatile than Mystical Space Typhoon, especially because most decks aren't running very heavy back row this format. Um. Heavy Storm, Dark Hole. I'm still running Dark Hole. I'm si thinking about just putting it in the side because, but my locals, we don't have a huge number of the really top decks, so I think still like Dark Hole's good, and it's very good for top decking, especially in late game. And Monster Reborn because that's always necessary. Um, Solemn Warning and Solemn Judgment. I realize a lot of decks are cutting these, but for a control deck with very very heavy traps, you kind of have to have these. Two Fiendish Chains, I love this card so much. I'm definitely going to stick with this. I might even add a third one. Um, two Bottomless, two Torrential, Triple D Prison. I really like Triple D Prison. It's just a preference of mine, but I think it's a very good reactive trap. Like, if they already have monsters on the field and you draw Bottomless, you're screwed, but D Prison's always an out to that. And it banishes the monster, which doesn't always mean a lot, but I think it's a lot more help destroying. I run on one Mirror Force. I was thinking about putting in a second Mirror Force, but I didn't have a second Mirror Force, and I didn't really have space for it anyway. So, just one Mirror Force, um, one Skill Drain, this was a tech. This didn't do a whole lot during the tournament. It helped me out like a couple times during the last game, but that was a very strange stun deck I was going up against, and I don't think that this is very good for the format, so I'm just going to start citing this, I think. Um, one Breakthrough Skill, I had a Breakthrough I wanted to test out playing with it. I, hated this card today. It helped me get over a Spirit Reaper a couple times, but that's about it, and Spirit Reaper is not a huge threat this format, so I think I'm just going to start, I think I'm going to sell or trade this off for it, or maybe I'll just keep it in case I want it later, but for at least my local level, I don't feel that this card is necessary or even that good. There was no situation that I had this, and I would not have rather had a Phoenix Chain. MST is not being heavily played this format, so I don't think that's a really good argument for why she's Breakthrough over Fiendish, and Fiendish is both permanent and stops attacks. So I just think Fiendish Chain is better, or even Effect Veiler, which I didn't use because it conflicts with Bowman, but... And a Starlight Road, because I'm running a lot of traps. I don't necessarily like Starlight Road, but it's a very good power play. Extra deck, I used two Shining main boss monster, um, one Great Tornado, one Abzira. I only used four of the fusions because I was not maining Super Poly. I have one-sided, but I never going to do it. I think I'm just going to unside that. Because, honestly, this format, what am I going to super poly? I'd rather have the Miracle Fusion and go into them myself, or just go into an Ixies. For Ixies, I have My Stroke, Excalibur, Blade Armor, Paladin. I love this card. This, like, beats over anything, and you get a draw, just like Heart Trooper if it's destroyed. Um, Abyss Dweller. I didn't use this today, but I still really like it, especially with Bubble Man, because Bubble Man gives it the extra attack. Cowboy. I did use Cowboy for game. I still hate Cowboy. I don't think it's necessary or a good card. I mean, there's a few things helps you get over, but aside from that, I don't really think the burn damage makes it worth it unless you're using it to steal a game, which is nice, but not always necessary. 
uh, Diamond Dire. I didn't use this. I had it in case I went up against a Royal Decree or an Imperial Iron Ball or something that completely shuts down my deck and I just need a way around it instantly because it would be a minus to remove something with this, but it's a just-in-case card. Uh, Gondiva, this was not as helpful as I thought it would be. I used it against a guy with a scrap deck one time, but it didn't really do that much. Um, Black Ship, always good, and Shockmaster, I used this against the same scrap guy, and this completely locked him down. And uh, Stardust Dragon to go with Starlight Road. Side deck, Super Poly. The side deck, I got really lazy when I was building this, but Super Poly, taking. <coughs> excuse me. Taking it out, never used it. Uh, double Valor, Double Maxi, because I hate running decks with no hand traps. I just real, I really do. But they didn't do much. I mean, other suggestions, I think I might just take all these out. They conflict with Bubble Man, and they conflict with a lot of my other side cards. I already have a lot of effect negation, so I just really don't think I need those. Uh, Grand Mole, hugely good, especially around my locals. It's been very popular recently for getting around Ixies. And it's an incredibly annoying card to go up against, and I really like having that. Uh, two Banisher, just wanted to test these and never got to try them out. I wanted them for Mermail matchup. Uh, because I figured I could side out my Miracle Fusions. I'm not going to focus on the Fusions in that matchup anyway because they're just going to blow them up. So I can just do summon this thing and stun with the control I have with the aliases and the Stratos at all my traps. But I didn't get to test that out because no, the guy who has Mermails didn't enter. Uh, two Dinah, use these for Evil Swarms. Didn't play against Evil Swarms, but I really like Dinahs. Uh, two Mystical Space Typhoons, just in case I need something that Lance or Gemini Spark can't get through, like Dark World, which aren't really popular, but I still don't have them. Uh, two Soul Drain, and the third Skill Drain. Um, I'm thinking about taking out the Hand Traps and putting in a some Mind Drains, but I'm not sure yet, because I really like Mind Drain. But anyway, that is my deck. This did get first place at the Kendall Locals. Let me know what you think of it, any suggestions, and peace out, YouTube.